Thanks for clicking on the podcast today to learn more about Forces Readiness Command's Intelligence Division. I'm Captain Rob McCrimmon. I'm the Chief of the Pacific Area Intelligence Division and Maritime Intelligence Fusion Center and designated champion for the Forces Command Intelligence Division. Forces Readiness Command Intelligence Division will have four branches. The first will be a security branch that takes care of uh, foreign disclosure of information. It also has a special security office that takes care of specialized compartmented information facilities that will be under ForceCom's control. We'll also do classification work of uh, what classification information should be marked as. And um, then there's an operations division that will be involved in putting together intelligence force packages if there's an incident where force companies to flow forces. We'll also take care of the information requirements for the operational, for the uh, forces commander. Another branch in the forces command will be the readiness and doctrine uh, branch, which is one of the important parts of forces command in terms of converting Coast Guard intelligence policy into doctrine, tactics, techniques, and procedures. With search and rescue, or you, we talk about taking the search out of search and rescue, ideally, if there's good intelligence, then you'll make uh, air, aircraft and cutters and small boat stations all more effective, more efficient in, in the performance of their jobs. The types of folks we'll be looking for to join FC2 would be people with a strong intelligence background, particularly initially where we're trying to get the program up and started. And I think uh, it would be very beneficial to have people with an operational background who also have experienced some intelligence tours so that they can combine uh, their knowledge of intelligence and how people in the field use that intelligence to develop the uh, doctrine and the procedures um, to make intelligence operators more effective. And also, if they're doing field visits uh, to check on compliance and standardization, they understand what the field's going through and um, can be reasonable in their expectations. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any more questions about FC2, please contact Al Cunningham, our liaison to the Forces Implementation Team. If you have any questions about ForceCom, you can send an email to askforcecom at uscg.mil.